my mom was sleeping, you just what the, you peer pressure me into this shit, man. I would have never did this shit. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe before you do anything else. The fucking now. Subscribe. Duh. The fuck. Say now, y'all. How y'all doing up today? Don't mind my chest. It's real red. You know, I'm kind of light skinned. So, you know, when you pressed against stuff, whatever, you tend to get red. Like, that shit look like I'm getting beat on or something. <laughs> Like, no, but that ass for real. Like, I think I just changed my t-shirt or something. And I came out looking like this. Later, we're going to get into another story time, y'all. Another story time. Another story time. Another uh, 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 story time. Today, we're going to talk about the time. It's just so fucking embarrassing, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. It's time my motherfucking mom walked in on me having... Yo, yes, I said sex. Bro, how fucking embarrassing. Bro, like, you don't even understand. Like, matter of fact, some of y'all do probably understand. I ain't the only one that that happened to. Comment below if you ever been caught having sex. Nope, you ain't got to say the whole story or nothing or whatever. But if you would like this for details, because I love hearing funny, embarrassing stories, bro. So, go ahead and comment below. Um, if you ever been caught anywhere by the police, by people outside, or any of that. Um, but I'm gonna tell you about this time because it was so fucking embarrassing. Like, y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't understand. Like, I was so embarrassed. Like, I was supposed to be my mother's, like, good child. Like, how can I get caught doing something like this? Like, how? Oh, my God. Anyways, just to hop right into the mother story. Okay, so it was a few years ago. Um, it was like late at night. I remember it was late at night. It was like my mom, she usually worked from like seven in the morning to seven at night, or sometimes she worked seven at night to seven in the morning. Um, depending on when she switched on and switch off, whatever. So um this particular i believe she works 7 a.m to 7 p.m so i'm like i know she's gonna be sleeping at night time because who wouldn't be after a long ass shift so uh yeah so you know my boyfriend at the time was uh you know hanging around whatever he uh, was driving he just got his license and he's driving his car and like you know what come see me lunch i'll be cute and stuff you know come see me you know like Never mind, just let it it's 11 o'clock at night. Like, what the fuck was I doing trying to tell him to come see me? Like, did I want to get my ass whooped or did I want to get my ass whooped? Like, because my mom was one of the moms. She didn't play that shit. Like, she would fuck you up. Period. Fuck you up. But out of all my brothers and sisters, I did get the least whooped. It's just to throw that out there. So I wasn't even that bad. But this story just so happened to be something that's under my belt. That's fucking embarrassing. Um... So, I call him over, whatever, and we're chilling and all that stuff. And, you know, things lead to another, you know, he seducing the kid. Like, I'm like, I don't know, you know, my mom's sleeping. And I don't know, I'm not sure. He's like, Baby, just come on. Just come on, you know, we get it in real quick. I'm like, are you, are you sure? He's like, yeah, just come on, just come on, just come on. So... One thing leads to another, we start doing some little stuff, whatever. And for some reason, I did not, usually I hear my mom, like, people walking down the hallway. Like, maybe it was because I was too occupied or something, but I did not hear her coming down the hallway. And every, all of a sudden, um, like, he was on top of me, right? But we're covered up with the covers, but he's on top of me. And all of a sudden, she walks in and flicks the light on. I'm like... No, 
no, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. But we were froze. Like, didn't move or nothing. Like, and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I can't believe. She just put the light back off and left out the room. She just left. She didn't say shit. If my mom don't say shit, usually she that type of motherfucker to grab. Anything she see to hit you with, all that, cuss you out. I would have been all types of hoes, all this shit. And she didn't say nothing, nothing. And I was, I'm like, oh, I am, I'm dead. I am fucking dead, period. Soon as she closed that door, I pushed that motherfucker off of me. I tried to fight him everything. Like, motherfucker, y'all, you see what you motherfucker just did? Like, I told you my mom was sleeping. You just, what, you peer pressure me into this shit, man. I would have never did this shit. So I'm mad as fucking him. Like, get the fuck out of my house. Just get out. Get out. He like, bro, but how was... No, I know how was nothing. On this shit. So you a part of this shit too, period. And now I'm mad as you. So get the fuck out of my house. Bye. Bye. Motherfucker. For the next three days, y'all. <laughs> next three days. <laughs> I was dodging corners. You know how I said she worked from 7 to 7, right? So, she get home from work, I'm asleep. She get up from work, I'm gone for school. Nope, I bet she don't catch me. I ain't getting my ass whooped. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Nope. Dodging bullets out this motherfucker, period. Finally, it was the weekend. I couldn't go to school, so she she had eventually talked to me. I was so nervous, though. She like, Jerrica, get your ass down here. Let me talk to you. Mom, first of all, my mom don't even never have conversations, so okay. I'm I'm tippy toeing on the side. Like, damn. Damn, I'm about to get my ass whooped. Damn, fuck. Fuck. I might as well just take it. I just might as well take the motherfucking ass whooping. You did this to yourself, Jerrica. So take the motherfucking ass whooping. You dealt these cards, so play them. Um, so I get down there, she like, Don't you ever do no motherfucking shit like that again in my house. And I'm just like, with the still face, you know, the looking down at the ground type shit, scared as hell. Like, please, please don't fucking hit me, though. Please don't hit me. Like, please. Ain't nothing worse than getting your ass whipped for something you did days ago. Like, it's still on their mind and they, like, thought about all the ways they can fucking punish you. So you get your ass whipped days later. Like, I just knew it. And my, my heart was beating like, okay. She about hit me. She about hit me. She like, you know what she says? Well, I thought you was gay, so I guess that took some relief off. You? All because I hung out with all gay people except for one guy. I like, I like gay people. Like, they the coolest, they the funniest, all that shit. Like, they keep it real with a bitch. Like, so you gonna say just because I hang out with gay people that I'm gay? Like, and you not that mad that you caught in sex because you thought I was gay? Now, what if you would have walked in and I would have been in there with a girl? I would have got my ass to <laughs> It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Like, nah, I'm, I'm open, you feel me? I love my gay people. Okay, okay, okay. You feel me? Power to whoever. Like who you want. Love who you want. Fuck who you want. But just don't do it in your parents' house. Or by your parents' home because you might get caught like me and just be in an embarrassing situation. Now you, you tell them the shit like, ooh, wait. But I dodged a bullet on that one because I guess you thought I was going to be gay and I'm not gay. And I guess that worked out for me or I really, really got my ass whooped, period. But just say to say, y'all, don't have sex when your parents is down the hallway. Don't do it. It's not worth the risk. No matter how much the motherfucking nigga want to talk you into to it, period. Don't do it. That's my story time for that day, y'all. Go ahead and hit the notifications. Comment below. And I'm out.